Hey guys, I'm gonna do like a what's in my bag for my disc golf bag here. So uh, let's get started. Uh, back here, I keep my distance driver. I use in, all my discs are Innova. This is the Beast. It's a distance driver. Um, it's really thin, like most distance drivers. Um, it's got nice turns and everything. Nice high speed turn. Uh, it's only the DX I plan to get. Oh, I think. I'm starting to get uh, better plastic discs. Like I have one champion plastic disc and one star, but uh, yeah, overall like really good disc. It's a little beat up, uh, but other than that, really good. Uh, next comes this is my favorite, uh, my champion T Bird. Um, it's a fairway driver. Uh, you can see a little signature from uh, I think Ken Colmeo. Not a professional disc golf player, but uh, yeah, really good disc. The plastic's really nice. It's it has a nice grip to it. Um, really easy in control. Uh, but yeah, like I said, really good disc. That's about where you, you can stop with it. I I really like the tie dye color too. It added a little, little nice feature to it. So uh, my other one, I got a leopard. I actually have two leopards. The red one be right there behind it. That's a leopard too. Um, but, yeah, really good disc, easy to control, only a DX, so this one's really beat up. Um, but, yeah, good disc. Uh, I highly recommend this one for, like, beginners and stuff, easy to control. Doesn't have that much of a turn, goes pretty straight. Uh, but, yeah, good disc. Like I said, I have two leopards. Here's the other one. So, uh, this is my newest one. This is the Star Crow. Um... It's a mid-range disc, so uh, really good. Easy to see because the color is like a lime. But um, yeah, the stars like their top of the line plastic. It's really good. And like mid-range, it's a little bit thicker. It flies easy to control. This one, um, the turn isn't that great, I don't think. Uh, but yeah, it's really nice. I haven't really used it. I've only used it a few times. But uh, yeah, good disc. I got my Goblin. According to the, according to this, it's a mid-range, but according to the website, it's a putter. Um, but I I use it for like long putts and stuff like that. It's a little bit thicker than most of your mid-range that you'll find. But uh, yeah, this one's just a DX, like my Leopards. Um, but yeah, really good disc, easy to control. Uh, a little bit more for better players, not really your easy going type players it's a little bit hard it's it has some turn to it and doesn't fly as straight as some other ones well but a uh, good disc overall uh... last i i just carry a few discs i'll probably get some more um... Avier, this is my putter i got two of them same with the white one here uh... this disc flies like really flat it's their like number one putter um, but, uh, yeah, really good for your beginner and basically all-around player. Uh, I highly recommend this one. That's why I carry two of them because even if I lose one, I still got backup. So, okay, we'll go to, like, a little bit what what's in the bag. I just keep my towel over here. Um, it's just, like, a little cheap top-flight towel, my old golf towel. Uh, I got some wax up there. I don't even know if it's legal. I just like it because it adds some grip to it. And then... My bag's just the end of a standard bag. Holds like 12 discs. And then back here, keep some scorecards, maps, just my local course there. Um, it's free, so it's nice. Uh, this is the course at my church camp. They just like wrote a little thing up, so gotta keep that handy. There's one of the scorecards. Um, here's the map, how to get there. And then I got a pen. So, helps out. Um, if you have any comments, like, what, what I should get and stuff, I'm looking at uh, a couple different ones. I'll probably only be getting, like, Champion Plastics disc. Um, but, yep, that's about it. Comment.